veganism for those who do not know? Uh, veganism is a philosophy that excludes uh, any animal use, any animal products, any entertainment. It's basically a philosophy that excludes animals from our lifestyles in the way that we use them for their bodies and uh, how we treat them for food. It's basically the opposition to animal slavery in every single sense, in every way. Um, why did you go vegan? I went vegan because I was on a, a thing called house arrest when I was a bit naughty as a, as a youth. And I was watching a man and he was talking about when you eat suffering and death, it manifests as disease in your body. You, you eat suffering and it becomes you. And it made sense to me. And about six months later, when I got sober from all the drinking and stuff, mm -hmm. I made the connection and I psh, switched over. Uh -huh. um, what does it help you with? Oh, what does it help me with? Many aspects of my life. It really has helped me connect more with others. It's uh, The compassion I have for animals has extended to human beings. It's given me a, a purpose in my life where I can help others and um, help animals. So um, it's probably helped me in more ways than just you know my own health it's helping the environment being altruistic doing things for others and it gives uh gives someone fulfillment from doing that as well um because i know you have a channel how do you promote veganism i promote veganism in a respectful way in a logical way in a way that reaches people's heart so i get them to empathize with animals and i know that the majority of people have compassion in their heart and I just try to find what that trigger is to reach people. And I try to educate people, be fact-based, uh, be calm and logical. I do interview videos, I do uh, slaughterhouse vigils, just whatever way possible, but outreach and stuff like that, yeah. Are there any things that are not vegan that you do miss? Any things? No, 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 the, no, the thing is like, anything that is not vegan that I miss, that's the, that's the beauty about being vegan. You don't miss out on anything. We've got, Don't, um, we've got vegan versions of everything you can think of. You want cheeseburger? We've got cheeseburger. You want ice cream? We've got ice cream. You want makeup? We've got makeup. You want aftershave? There's aftershave. There's nothing about being non-vegan that I miss, except for the feelings of being sluggish, of eating you know, meat three times a day and feeling I was very obese, very um, overweight before. I have mental clarity now, so yeah. Do people judge you for being vegan? Yeah, of course, but everyone's full of judgment. Every human being has judgment. Um, I think people uh, judge a certain way because they lack understanding, and once you understand something, um, your position on it changes. And I think um, the judgment can come from both sides as well. So non-vegans judge vegans because they have no understanding of veganism. Vegans judge non-vegans because they forget that they were non-vegan once too. And I think we need to understand uh, both sides and we need to understand that, hey, uh, a non-vegan has this judgment towards me because he's not quite there yet. He hasn't been exposed to the same information as me. And I think we need to avoid um, expressing our judgment of people who are eating animals who might not be aware. So I think judgment can be a very detrimental thing to the movement if we express it in a certain way. So understanding is what diffuses that. Yeah. Um, what are your personal thoughts on veganism? My personal thoughts on veganism? Yeah. Well, I think it's... Uh, if you think that, you know, you, if you want to live in a world where human beings are free from being oppressed, you know, you don't want to be enslaved yourself, you wouldn't want, want to be confined and used for your body... We accept, we, we expect these liberties as human beings. It's almost like we take them for granted. But if they were taken from you, would you want um, would you want someone to speak out for you? These animals have had their freedom taken from them. They've had everything taken from them. And it's only right for us if we if we want to if we want um, these liberties, these freedoms ourselves to extend that to other beings. Otherwise, we're being we're we're being sort of hypocritical in a way we're saying hey I want to live like this a life of freedom and justice I want my dog to be happy but cows chickens and pigs and fish and lambs don't worry about them they're objects for us to use I think um, that's what it means to me it's justice it means like it's a, a position of justice yeah because I, I find it silly like if they say oh you can only kill cows chickens and like pigs it's like why can't you kill a dog if it's going to be that way but it, it silly it's speciesism 
Okay, so we define, we, we choose, we, we draw an arbitrary line between species. We say these, these are the animals we should love and care for and look after and protect the native animals. And these are the animals that are our food and they don't matter and we should breed them into existence and kill billions of them for sandwiches we don't need. So, Because they're there for a reason. People think that they're there for a reason, but they're there for their own reason. The, the, their reason is not to supply humans with their flesh. They're, they're not here for us. They're here, they exist for themselves. So like the wolves and lions and all of that. Yeah, well, all animals exist for their own reasons, you know, and human beings exist for our own reason too, and we shouldn't be exploiting other beings for our own gain, our own benefit. Because it's not really helping humans at the moment by eating meat, dairy, eggs and all of that, because, like, in what what the health, one in three Americans use a, um, Medicare on diabetes. Yeah, well, diabetes and the number one killer in the world is heart disease and saturated fat and cholesterol. Cholesterol is only found in animal products. And we are causing suffering and death to these animals, and it's coming full circle. And it's making us suffer and die in hospital. Human beings are dying by preventable disease en masse, you know, and, and it's destroying our, the environment, the very world that, it, that sustains our existence is, that, is in jeopardy because what we're doing to animals. And uh, the final question is, is there a message you'd like to tell the viewers? Um, well, it depends on what demographic of viewer I'm talking to. If you're non-vegan, I would ask yourself, um, do you think there's a humane way to kill an animal that doesn't want to die? Do, do, if you expect um, a life to live a life of freedom, um, to not be oppressed, to live a life without violence, do you think that is only um, consistent for us to extend that to uh, animal friends? Are you against animal cruelty? These are the questions you have to ask yourself. Is it really worth and a life of suffering in an animal's life for a burger that you don't need, and we've got vegan options, ask yourself these questions. For vegans, I would say that because you know the injustice you're a part of, uh, you, you know the injustice, you once were a part of it, okay? You were once contributing to these animals' suffering. Don't you think it's only an obligation now that we speak out for them and that we do something about it? Because um, we know. And once you know, we, we have to say something. If it was any other uh, victim, if it was any human victim and they were getting um, abused or uh, an act of violence committed against them in front of you, you would speak out against it. But I think we need to, as vegans, um, realise that we're in a position of power and we know and we have a duty now. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Go follow Joey on YouTube. His link will be right here. And yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it a lot. Cheers, bro. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> You're welcome. Really good interview.